A dog who was believed to have been tortured and left for dead is starting to recover tonight. Our John Quill Newland explains why some call this the worst case of animal cruelty they've ever seen. Here you go. When local attorney Jean Harrison founded the Big Fluffy Dog Rescue, Careful, honey. she knew she'd witnessed some difficult situations. But this most recent one is one of the worst cases of animal cruelty she's seen. I'm pretty calm most of the time about these sorts of things, but this dog's injuries went beyond what I would consider run-of-the-mill injuries, and, and it's upsetting to look at. Because of the extent of the injuries, we will not show you every picture of Marshall, a Great Pyrenees rescued from Montgomery County. So we were assuming that it was a dog hit, like hit by a car, it's a classic injury. But that was not the case. The vets could see Marshall had been shot several times, but as they began their work to save him, his injuries became more apparent. When they were actually intubating the dog for surgery, for the leg, they actually found the injuries on the neck. His wounds were covered in maggots and gangrene had set in. His life was on the line. The problem I've got is the wounds seem more consistent with torture than they do. You know, we see a lot of wounds uh, in rural areas where there's no animal control and a dog shows up and, and a farmer will shoot it because it's harassing livestock. Th this is not that, in my opinion. Now officials are asking the public to step forward if they know anything. We do have concerns um, that someone is out there shooting animals in our county. Vets removed Marshall's back leg and hip this week. I can tell you that I saw him today and he's already trying to get up. I mean, he, he wants to go for a walk. Infection is now his biggest risk as vets work to save this gentle giant. It's a testament to the breed and to this dog particularly that despite the injuries he's sustained and the length of time that he's had them, that he hasn't once offered to bite. Jonquil Newland, News Channel 5. An investigation into what happened to Marshall is underway. If you have any information that could help, please call the Montgomery County Animal Control or the Sheriff's Office.